guys i'm sharing this question because one student uh, uh, had some issues with this question not with the concept but with uh, how to solve it yesterday so i thought others may also be having it so what happens is so what one what you can do is you can just pause this video right now and try it yourself so when you try to solve it it takes a bit longer time and uh, I hope you have paused and then you have come back. Okay. Now, if you have tried it out, then you listen to the rest of it. And when you put back the values and you reverse work with four options also up there, it takes a shorter time, right? So before we work out, we know that we'll be using this. There is there are two spheres who are having f force between them so q1 and q2 are the charge and the force was f when they were joined together if they are identical spheres then what is going to happen equal charges will be on both of it so each of them will have a q1 plus q2 by 2 this one will also have q1 plus q2 by 2 mind you this will happen only if the radius radii of both are same so it's written identical small conducting spheres if the radii is not same then we distribute charges equating the potential and we can't use this and then if we separate out by the same distance then we don't have to worry about how much was the distance even though here they are saying one meter apart if they would have said the same distance then also it would have been uh, non-consequential So this is R apart and there also it is R apart. So what's the force in the first case? F is equal to K Q1 Q2 by R square. What's the force in the other case? F dash, say this case. So F dash is equal to K Q1 plus Q2 by 2 into q1 plus q2 by 2 divided by r square so <clears throat> the ratio of the forces they come like f dash upon f if you do that then k and r square will get cancelled and you'll have q1 plus q2 square by 4 q1 q2 you may remember this or it is just one line away from the basic concept now the point is in this question they have asked what is the charge ratio what is q1 by q2 so if you do the math it will take a bit longer okay when you do the math which uh, i may or may not show in this video because the point of doing the math is not there okay what we have to do is what i am suggesting is you rather put the values right f dash by f is given to you which is 1 by 3 so I'll just write a 1 by 3 over here now to get a 3 most probable option is your C option okay so you'll straight away check with your C option what is unique in this question is first they have written that the forces F was attractive they were attracting each other that means if q1 is positive the other one is negative that means you'll have a minus over here okay so if you remember as a formula then we have to know that okay one case it will be minus the other case when the charges are equally distributed then the charges are q1 minus q2 q1 minus q2 but when they are equally distributed whatever it is ultimately it is negative then both will be repelling if both are positive then again both will be repelling so after that when they connect they repel each other it's written they repel each other when they are connected by a conducting thing wire thin wire and then again uh, forces are studied then they are repelling each other so you have a minus over here right so if they're saying three is to one you can take any one of them as three and the other one as one so in fact a minus one so what we can say is 3 minus 1 square divided by 4 into 
3 into a minus 1 it is repelling you don't have to write a minus and plus one force is attractive other force is repel uh, repel repulsive so 1 by 3 is it at itself negative if we take the vectors okay so one is positive the other one is negative so you get that negative from a one over here okay so you land up with what if you have put in this option you land up with a 2 square which cancels with a 4 and you land up with 1 by 3 which is the expected answer one second okay which is the expected answer so this is what you do okay hmm? I'm sending it because yesterday we actually worked it out okay and then uh, put in the option so if you have to put in the option we just put it in the uh, first go itself so if you have to work it out and you don't want to put in the option suppose it was a numerical type question which doesn't happen in neat so you don't have to worry about it but uh, suppose you have to put in the option then f dash by f is equal to q1 plus or minus whatever it will be q2 whole square divided by 4 q1 q2 and they have asked what is q1 by q2 ratio is how much that is the question right so i'll just take it up there so you get a q1 by q2 this is given to you this side is given to you f dash by f is 1 by 3 in this case so this side is given to you so i'll just write 1 by 3 instead of writing f and f dash so this is uh, if you take it inside the bracket what happens you have a q1 divided by root of q1 q2 right so which is under root of q1 by q2 plus under root of q2 by q1 so if you take it inside this right that is your squared and 1 by 4 so I'll just put the 4 over there right of which what is asked q1 by q2 is asked so you can say that it is you are going for a if q1 by q2 is asked perhaps you are going for a root of q1 by q2 is equal to x then you call it as x plus 1 by x the whole square now you can choose to plug in the options over here so if you plug in you rather plug in in the first go itself and if you open it up it is your x square which is what we want x square plus 1 by x square plus 2 in this case it was a minus minus because this was a minus so in this particular case it is a minus 2 so you take 2 on the other side and it becomes uh, 4 by 3 plus 2 so a 10 by 3 is your x square plus 1 by x square now you have to actually solve it x square is what you have to solve then you will land up in a quadratic equation okay x square is q1 by q2 which you wanted to solve is x square is equal to y then this is simply y upon 1 plus y so if you want to solve it will land up in a quadratic equation right and that quadratic equation will be 3y square plus 3 and a minus 10y is equal to 0 so this is the math what you'll have to do these many steps so it was preferred that you do nothing and straight away plug in the value in the initial formula itself q1 minus q2 the only catch was if it is an attractive the charges will be negative of each other so q1 minus q2 1 minus 3 or 3 minus 1 either ways okay yeah so when you solve this if you really want to solve this then your y is a minus b plus minus and a root b square which is 100 minus 4ac so 4 into 3 into 3 so 
36 divided by 2b sorry 2a so 2 into 3 which is 100 minus 36 is 64 under root of that is 8 so you have a 10 plus minus 8 divided by 6 so 10 plus 8 is 18 by 6 is 3 and 10 minus 8 which is a 2 divided by 6 is 1 by 3 so q1 or q2 can be interchange okay right so you can just think of one as 3 and the other as 1 by 3 or uh, sorry 3 and 1 or uh, 1 and 3 whichever way so that's the ratio right either 3 is to 1 or 1 is to 3 is what you're getting this is actually solving suppose the option was not given to you right yeah thank you